Good morning. Thank you so for taking the time to talk with me today. My name is Raquel Bernard. I am former Ed Basri chef at Buckingham Palace. I grew up in France, obviously. <laughs> but I moved to England when I got the job working for the Queen. I worked there for, um, how do you say, um, Gisette, uh, uh, 17 years before I resigned. Many people who have heard this story think I was fired or let go. I might have been fired, of course, had I not left on my own. <laughs> you see, I am an uh, introvert in, in Introvert. <laughs> I always kept to myself in the palace. Much of the kitchen staff lived outside of the palace grounds, but for those of us in leadership, lived in the servants' quarters. He thought, word. <laughs> servant. I always thought of myself as an artist, and to be categorized as a servant is good, great degrading because I am an introvert and because it was forbidden I did not interact with any of the guests that came into this palace. Unfortunately on one occasion the Prime Minister and his wife had dinner with the Queen. I do not mean it was unfortunate for them to have dinner with the Queen of course. <laughs> It was just this particular dinner that was beginning of the end of my time in the palace. The Prime Minister's wife enjoyed my creation so much that she insisted on going into the kitchen to meet me. Our meeting seemed innocent enough, but later she asked if I go to her home to teach her a bit about pastry making. This is when our affair began. I would rather not get into the details. Um, however, we had a very intimate relationship for about uh, six months. She ended the relationship abruptly and stopped returning my calls. A close friend of mine called me and asked if the rumors were true. Was I having an affair with the Prime Minister's wife? He is a close friend. Like I said, so I told him the truth. Immediately after that, I turned in my letter of resignation and moved back to France. I feel terrible that this has turned into a bit of a scandal. As an introvert, I certainly never wanted the spotlight to be on me. Again, I want to thank you for your time. This is all I have to say on the matter.